Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. In this tutorial, we'll see a data warehousing concept called uh, Star Schema and Snowflake Schema. Okay, so this is the major schemas that we usually use in our data warehousing. Uh, so I have just you know uh, googled and uh, googled the Star and the uh, Snowflake Schema, and I got this random image which is there in front of you right now. So you can see um, the shape of these image, uh, shape of these tables are in star form. So that's why it's called a star schema. So usually, what happens in star schema, as it is represented over here, the fact table will be residing in the middle, and the fact table will be surrounded by other dimensional table. So before getting into star schema and snowflake schema, it is very much mandatory to know what is fact and dimension, right? So fact is nothing but it is the fact table will always contain the aggregated values. So what is aggregated values? As we all know the basics of SQL, we must be knowing about the aggregated things like sum, min, max, all those things. So whichever you know uh, uh, is represented in the numbers form is called as facts. That's all you need to remember about facts. Dimension is nothing but where which will give a description for these facts is called as dimension okay so for example coming to fact you can see here there are a few attributes over here like product id customer id region id all those things all these are ids it doesn't give any kind of description right it just gives you what id it's like one two three or some number like four zero seven is your id like that so whichever is a aggregated data or a summary of this uh, dimension that is called as a fact where it represents you can see sales profit sum of something or uh, salary all those things are facts so coming to the dimension table uh, dimension you can see the customer time region product everything is a customer uh, sorry dimensional table so you can see this customer id is a foreign key to our fact table and also in the customer table you can see customer name and customer description so this id is um, given some description like to whom this id belongs his name will be here and his description like where he resides or whatever like his address city country all those things will be residing in the dimensional table so that is what is about fact and dimension in a simple form okay so if you want in more detail then you can just go google it you will be getting lots of information about and facts and dimension just i'm giving a brief what in a simple words like what facts and dimension mean hope you guys have understood this now coming to the star schema and dimension uh, snowflake schema so star schema as i mentioned it is in the star form where the fact will be residing in the middle and these facts will be connected to a dimensional table okay so these are the points that you need to remember when it comes to star schema then uh, apart from this um, apart from this we'll just do one thing we'll just leave it here and then we'll go to our snowflake schema so snowflake schema you can see this is a simple randomly i've got this picture and you can see it's something very different but you can see one thing over here if you uh, you know neglect these these two empty boxes and these empty boxes you can see we are left with star schema right so snowflake schema is nothing but it's an extension of star schema that is what the uh, simple definition of uh, snowflake schema i can mean so if you neglect these empty boxes you can you are left with only star schema you can see fact table dimension 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 so this is nothing but similar to this right so the snowflake schema is nothing but it's an extension of star schema where it is more normalized it's in more normalized form you can see here it, we we can see only only single tables are present for each uh, you know product or each uh, thing right like for customer only one single table is present no other tables are available that means it's not in a normalized form we know what is normalization and denormalization okay so based on that you can see it is in the normalized form so star schema is a normalized form whereas snowflake schema is an extension of uh, star schema but it is in a denormalized form that is what the snowflake schema means and uh, whenever you want to you know um, fetch some data from the star schema it's very simple because it's in a normalized form so queries will not be much complex and uh, 
you can write very simple queries and fetch the data but coming to snowflake schema as it is in the denormalized form when you want to fetch some data then you need to add some joins and you need to you know do some sub queries to this externally and then only you can fetch your data from this so that is what is the difference between uh, star and snowflake schema so and also you can see uh, the fact table contains all the uh, primary keys of the dimensional table into it and these becomes a foreign key in the fact table so that is another point that you need to remember so hope you guys have understood the basic concept of what is fact and dimension and what is star and snowflake schema what i'll do is in the next tutorial i'll come up with the difference proper difference between the star and snowflake schema we'll discuss over there whatever we have discussed here also okay hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial please do subscribe to my videos and keep liking my videos and share these videos along to your other friends who are interested in learning plsql data warehousing etl and all so if there are any queries then please do mail me to the mentioned mail id on the screen and i'll try to get back as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching